Hey guys, this is Fred with USA Measurements and today I'm gonna to show you a quick video on how to calibrate the United Indicator, also known as the HL318L. First, in order to calibrate your scale, what you're going to need is some calibration weights. So here, we're gonna use 500 pounds to calibrate this floor scale. Once you have your weights, you're gonna need a few tools. So in order to start, on this indicator, you need to get access to this panel here. So you may already have a screw in place or a lead seal. You're gonna to wanna to break that, take the screw out, and then we're gonna take this cover off. Once that's taken off, you see here there's a button. We need to press and hold that while we turn on the indicator to get into the calibration mode. So I'm gonna use an Allen wrench. And while I have it held down, I'm gonna keep holding that button and it will take us to the F1 parameter setting. So this is the first step of the calibration. We're going to hit the print enter key and this is gonna take us to F1.1. We'll hit the print key again. This is where we're gonna set the capacity of the scale. So in this case, we have a floor scale. It can be set up to a thousand pounds or as much as 10,000 pounds or even bigger. But in this case, I know it's 5,000 pounds and I'm going to select that. Now, if you have a different capacity, let's say like a thousand pound scale, you can use these errors to toggle up and down. So again, this is 5,000. I'm gonna set it to 5,000 and then I'm gonna hit the print enter key. Then I'm gonna hit the up button to go to F1.2 and hit this button. This is going to be the number of um, decimals that you want the scale to have. So here you're gonna see it's set to zero, but we can set it to having a point after the actual number or more, depending on the type of scale. So in this case, it's a 5,000 pound floor scale. I wanna leave it at just one, uh, one full number. I don't wanna have any uh, decimal points after it. So we'll hit that print button again, and this will take us back to F12, and we're gonna hit the zero button to go up to F13. We're gonna hit the print button. Now this is going to be where you set the divisions. So um, again, if you have a decimal and you wanna have like a 0.1 or a 0.2 or a 0.5, you can use this to, to change this parameter setting. And so on a floor scale, uh, we suggest most commonly leaving at one pound. And for this demonstration, we're just gonna leave it at one and we'll hit the print key. We're gonna hit the up button to go to F1.4 and hit the print key. This is if you wanna calibrate in pounds or zero is kilograms. So in this case, we're gonna calibrate in pounds. So we're gonna leave it at one and we'll hit the print key. We'll press the zero button again to go up to F1.5 and hit the print button. Now this is gonna be your gravitational field. I would, I would suggest that you just leave this at the uh, at what the manufacturer has programmed, which would be this setting here. So uh, we'll hit the print button and this will take us right back to F15 and we'll go up to F16. So E scale is uh, checking the connection of this cable down to the floor scale. And uh, once we hit this print button, it's gonna do a test. Now, if this test comes back with any kind of error, then you know that this cable here needs to be replaced. So that was successful. Now we'll hit the zero button to go up to F17 and we're gonna hit the print button. This is where we're gonna load our calibration weights on the scale. So now I'm gonna go ahead and load all 500 pounds on the scale. All right, now that we have all of our calibration weight loaded, we're gonna hit this print button again. This is where we're gonna enter in the amount of test weights that we used. Now the factory normally recommends that you use 10% of the capacity. So a 5,000 pound scale, you'd wanna use 500 pounds. So in this case, we're gonna enter 500 pounds because that's what we're using for our calibration weight. After that, we'll hit this print enter button and it will do a countdown. Now, if you get an error six or some other kind of error, you can look in the manual, which will address the issue. But if you get an error six, that means you're not using enough calibration weight and you need to go through and recalibrate this scale. 
uh, what you'll need is more calibration weight. So now that we're done, we'll hit this whole button to exit out of the calibration and you'll see we're at 500 pounds and the calibration is complete. I wanna say thank you to Adam Kemp who uh, helped us with this video. Uh, we had previously made a, another video and uh, there was one mistake in it. And so this is the new calibration video that should help everybody with calibrating their United Indicator, the HL318. Thank you for watching guys. Hey guys, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions going through the calibration, we're here to help. We're more than happy to walk you through the steps over the phone on how to calibrate it. Or if you need us to actually calibrate your indicator, ship it to us, we'll calibrate it and ship it back to you. We're happy to do that for you. Give us a call today at 800-711-2237 or you can email us sales at usamesurements.com. Thank you for watching.